Hello guys, this is Khan here with a first ever Borderlands 2 Legendary Weapons Guide. So what we have here for you today is very special. It took me a little bit to get this. So this is called the Hellfire. The, in this case, it is the Consumable Consumate Hellfire. The prefix is gun may and will probably change. And I only have a 49. Sorry, I couldn't get a 50. But the damn. Um, in this video, I'll be talking about where to find it. The rating, the rate damage and stuff like that. So where you want to find this is uh, you want to go to Frostburn Canyon. Look for a spider ant called Scorch. You can only find this guy if you've done all the side quest. If you've done the side quest Scorch for Incinerator Clayton. So we're going to have to go up this hill here. As you can see, I have the sham shield on so I can get past these bandits easily. And stuff like that. So I've noticed on this weapon that the... Uh, the damage is pretty decent for a submachine gun, but it's fire damage is what makes this gun a killer, I say. I like to use this on um, fleshed enemies with, sometimes with and without shields. So, it's actually a really good powerhouse here. So you see I have the B shield, the tie to tear amorphous. We'll put on the high to tear amorphous to try out this weapon. So there's Scorch. He comes out of this little cave here with his little underlings and stuff like that. So I kill him, and he yes, he does drop the hellfire right there, as you can see on the right in the center. But there's a couple spider ants so I have to kill those guys. I go down here in a second because I missed this one spider ant. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! I'm so upset. Finally get a le your first legendary on the, on video, and then you die. He is right here. Yep, I die. And the worst part is he runs away. He's almost dead. I got him. And see ya. And he's gone. Oh, so pissed. But um, when it comes to rating of this weapon, I would say this is actually a really good submachine gun. This is one of my favorite submachine guns here. I, it's, I love fire. The, look at that. 4,363 damage. The accuracy is really nice. I like the magazine size and its fire rate. And as we, we're going to get close up here. And we're going to go try it out at the uh, Fink Slaughterhouse. So let's go see how this works out. Right about here. So... When it comes to rating of this weapon, I would give this weapon an 8 for its magazine size, fire rate, accuracy, and just fire rate. I don't see much wrong with this weapon at all. This is a really good killing machine here. It does the job quite well. The only issue I see is with uh, shields. I mean, it still disposes of shields pretty easily. But when you go down is my favorite part, because even when you're down, that burn damage is going to get you. You're going to slow him down three times. As long as he's burning, that's going to that's gonna hurt. Even with this Hellborn, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to resist fire either way. Can you just burn away? See, you can see here I had a problem with the shield right there. But once the shield is down, it's not an issue at all. My advice is either throw a grenade or just switch your weapon real quick. You have uh, an assassin switching the weapon. So you see here I go down. Look, I only shoot him like two times. Or seven. <laughs> so, yeah, that this is the Hellfire. So, if you guys would like to see any more videos, which they're going to be close up, my next one's going to be, I think it's going to be on the... I can't remember which grenade mod it is. It is the bonus package grenade mod. Yeah, there it is. So we're going to show that we already have the Deliverance, the Black Hole, and the Fire Beast. So we're going to be posting those videos as well. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, thank you for the support. See ya.